uh, welcome back guys to another tutorial and uh okay that was my impression that I was gonna get a laugh I went for it and uh got nothing so might as well just teach you guys about some more string functions that way alright so we already saw a couple of cool string functions that you can do and how you can combine different pieces of strings in different kinds of ways but did you know that you can actually take a bit of text and combine it with a numerical function kind of a tongue twister so let me show you guys what I'm talking about and you're actually going to be doing this a lot so what you can do is you can go to any cell for some reason I pick this one and start typing in some strings so I'll say that the total value of my store is dollar sign so of course we already know that okay we could calculate the total store it in a cell, keep this, and then somehow merge the two cells together. But let's just go ahead and do it all in one shebang. So this is our string of text right here at an ampersand, which is going to concatenate or join it with something. And what we can do is actually throw a numerical function like sum in here. So of course the sum is, and I should have kept that column from like two tutorials ago where I got the total value. But uh, for now, I'll just add up like any numbers. These ones look good. Again, this is just an example. Oh, well. So now whenever I hit enter, check it out. It says the total value of my store is, and we combined it, it or combined it. We combined it, it. Is that the past tense? Who knows? We joined it, should just say that, <laughs> with a numerical function. Pretty stinking awesome. So that's one cool thing one cool string function but I just got a call in and um, I got some new inventory coming in it's an item called bacon 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 okay however I'm lazy and I don't feel like writing the word bacon five times so instead I found out about this cool function right here it's REPT and what it does is it okay what it does, as I was saying before the stupid alert interrupted me, is it allows you to repeat a string however many times you want. So the string that I want to repeat is bacon, and of course the name of this product is bacon, 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 so that's five times. Hit enter and check it out. So again, that's the function REPT, and it's pretty much asking what string do you want to repeat, what text, and what number of times do you want to repeat it? Five, bacon, 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 bacon. Pretty sweet, I got a feeling it's gonna be my, one of my most popular products. What is it exactly? I have no idea, but it sounded cool. All right, now here's something else. Say that we have, I don't know, 14 of these in stock and they cost, um, I don't know, like 456 each. Pretty sweet, but what I want is a little graphic telling me because I'm not, you know, very visual with these numbers so I want a little you know kind of chart or visual to demonstrate how much of each product we have quantity wise I'm also gonna change this because for this demonstration it's gonna be kind of a pain in the butt alright so what we can do is I'll do it for this actually I'll do it for this uh, very first one if you hit enter and call the repeat function again what we can do is actually Mother F R I hit the wrong stupid thing again. All right, add any symbol instead of a bit of text, and instead of just giving it, um, you know, some hard number. What we want to do is we want to reference B three. So what this is gonna do, what we're pretty much saying is repeat this symbol, or print it out, this number of times. So why are we doing that? Well, check it out. Let me drag this down. Whenever we do that, what it's going to do is it's going to give us a nice little visual of exactly how many items we have in stock. So if we only have two hoodies, let's say I'm going to print out two little stars. If we have 14 bacon, 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 bacon it's going to print out 14 stars. And of course, I know that uh, like Excel has a ton of graphs and you know tables that you can use to chart everything and display it nicely but if you ever just want to do something real quick I don't know maybe someone's walking by your desk and want something in like two seconds well it's a pretty cool little trick so one of the last things I'm gonna talk about is this 
Um, this is kind of, I don't even have a story for this. Actually, let me go ahead and make one up. Uh, for some reason, I like teaching better when I make up a pretend story, other words known as a lie, <laughs> and uh, teach it. So, say that we have a new product called, um, I love bologna, or bologna. All right, so some idiot inserted it into our Excel file with a bunch of these stupid spaces right here. And of course, we can't be printing that out on our invoices when we sell millions of this I love bologna. We'll say it's like a t-shirt or something. So what we can do is we can actually use a function called trim. And what trim does is it takes a piece of data and uh, it doesn't give you a nice little description right there, but it's basically going to remove any extra spaces. So hit enter and look at what it does. It pretty much removes all of the extra spaces, but not all of them. It just doesn't combine I love bologna into one word um, like you might think. So it pretty much takes a long sentence and it cleans it up for you. Now, while I have some extra time, I might as well go ahead and run through the rest of these uh, character functions or string functions. Let's see, what's another one? Length. So, you're going to be using this one. In this one, LEN returns the number of characters in a text string. So, if you ever want to say, how many characters are in this? Well, it's LEN, then throw whatever string you want as the parameter. If you are wondering, there are indeed 14 characters in the string I love baloney. So, you know, what else do you need to know in life? That's pretty much solved the mystery to the universe. Now, for casing, um, you use these a lot with names, and I probably should use this on my website because people always sign up and they either type their name in lowercase, all lowercase letters, like how stinking lazy are you, you can't capitalize the first one, or it's all uppercase, or sometimes you just want to format stuff. So, I won't even, um, upper right here, what it does is it changes everything to uppercase. Um, if you have something like lower, it's going to take whatever string and change it to all lowercase. And just an ex as an example, let me put something like Bucky Roberts. And I'll show you guys this one last one. I will demonstrate this. Proper. What this does is it actually takes a piece of text and changes it to proper case. So check that out. Pretty cool. So... When you have like a big data set and everyone entered their name like a moron, you can just throw a proper function on it and it's going to fix it out for you and make it look pretty for your boss or teacher, whatever. And actually, since I have time, I thought that was going to be the last one, but I'll talk to you guys about one more that just popped in my head, and that is substitute. So let me put substitute. And what this does is it actually takes three different parameters. The first one is, okay, that annoys me because if I ever type back, then uh, it gives me a stupid error. So you're probably going to be seeing that a lot. But the first one is, what is your original string? And I'll put something like, um, I love my mom. So the next parameter it takes is, what word in here or what part of text do you want to replace? Well, I want to replace mom. And the third one is, what do you want to replace it with? And I want to replace it with cheeseburgers. So what this does is it takes, I love mom, and it replaces mom with cheeseburgers. So the final output is, instead of I love mom, I love cheeseburgers. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you replace text in a string and a bunch of other cool stuff. And I, you know. I won't repeat everything because I just taught it to you. If you wanted me to repeat it, you'd probably just watch the video again. So, for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Yada yada tomato tomato. See you guys next time.